The National Social Work Association has nominated Jane Addams as being one of the social work pioneers. Jane Addams was born in 1816, Illinois. She was born to a wealthy family, but raised by her sisters and father as her mom had died at a young age. Her father had introduced her to politics and encouraged her to go to college. However, keeping her from going to Smith College and enjoy in pursuing her dream of helping the poor. Adams and her family moved to Philadelphia once Adams' father had passed away, leaving a fortune. She soon had a, experienced a mental health breakdown and was hospitalized. The physician had diagnosed her with, with self-absorption, leading her into a further episode of depression. During the same time, Adams had a spinal surgery due to spinal tuberculosis as a young child. Adams soon had a turnaround when she traveled with the other students in her class across the nation. Adams had ex witnessed extreme poverty. Once traveling through Chicago, Adams witnessed poverty, a large amount of immigrants, and unsanitary conditions. This is where she was influenced into lobbying and politics. Eventually, Jane Addams rented a mansion, which was soon became the whole house. She used the inheritance from her father to, to pay for rent and renovations. The whole house was a big accomplishment of Adams. These houses were to improve the lives of poor individuals. They were located in Chicago. The houses included music, art, and math classes, along with a lunchroom. The houses provided English language classes, job placement and trainings, daycare for working mothers. The overall goal was to improve the lives of the lower social class Adams wanted to help the poor individuals and families become more economically sufficient. And she did not want these families to feel any less since they were receiving aid. Adam was a huge activist during the late 19th and early 20th century. She contributed to many of the labor laws, specifically the child labor laws, and aided in the creation of the juvenile court system. She worked towards women's suffrage and worked towards the formation of the National Progressive Part. She passed federal labor, child labor laws in 1916. She was president of the Women's Peace Party and the Women's International Peace Congress. She worked towards promoting peace by aiding the women's suffrage movement, movement and advancements of African-American individuals. She was one of the officers of the National American Women's Suffrage Association and a founder of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Adams was living during the time of progressivism with industrialization and immigration at the highest in cities. In 1894, Adams founded the Civic Federation of Chicago, which provided business and labor services in the city. The daughter of the American Revolution made Adams an honorary member for her attempts to negotiating settlements within the Union. Adams was president of the Women's Peace Part in D.C. During this time, Adams worked toward mediation of the war. Adams opposed taking size, sides during the war, and for this she was attacked. She continued to speak at rallies throughout 1915. Adams believed that the war was not needed and that everyone could come to a census without war.
Theodore Roosevelt and Woodrow Wilson both requested Adams' blessing for the presidential ca campaigns. The candidates hoped to gain votes of the 11 states who allowed women to vote, and with Adams being a large part of the women's suffrage and getting the women's right to vote, she was a huge part of that. In 1931, Adams won the Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize. Her work of lobbying, assisting the poor, and peace activism led to her role of the National Social Work Pioneer. She was the first woman to earn the Peace Prize. Americans thanked Adams and other women who worked towards peace and equality of women and immigrants. Today, Hull House is now a museum as it closed as a settlement house in 2012. Jane Addams died in 1935 from a heart, atta heart attack. She had been living in Chicago as she returned with poor health conditions. The Women's International League for Peace and Freedom is still active today. Adams is recognized as a strong social activist throughout the nation in the late 19th and early 20th century. She was widely known for the creation of the whole house. Adams fought for peace. She fought for freedom. And Adams' work contributed towards many laws, equality, and peace today. And the references are listed here.